Hello. I need to go this way. Is it working or audio? Yeah, they'll be yeah, they'll the audio. Yeah, the horse. There you go. Looks more like a donkey to me. It's not a donkey. That is a donkey. Hey, guys. Hi, Casey. How's it going? Good. Good. What have you been up to this morning? Nothing. Just nice. chilling. Well, I'm super excited you've joined me today with Destiny and Rusty. They're pretty keen to see everybody. We've just got a few more people coming in. Awesome. Well, hi everyone. Casey here from Triple C Camp. And behind me, I have two more minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, mm -hmm. Just so you know, which most of you are familiar with, um, we have the um, different settings on Zoom. Helps so that we can hear what's going on. Button on. Well, sorry, you turn it off um, so that you can speak and that we can hear you. Um, and then you'll just turn it back to um, off again. Uh, it's a little, little red button somewhere on your screen, probably down the bottom. Um, so can I get a thumbs up if that makes sense to everyone? Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Good. Yep. All righty. Can I get a thumbs up if you can all hear me? Fantastic. So we actually have Melissa on the other side of the camera today, who's going to be moving around uh, with myself and my four-legged friend, Destiny here. Hi, everyone. Um, Destiny says hi. Say hi. She's pretty excited to be here today. And we also have Rusty down there who's hanging out as well, um, keeping Destiny company. Um, so if you do have any questions at any point today, um, feel free to take the mute button off and um, or send a message in the chat and Melissa will ask those questions that she can see the screen in front of her. Um, and there'll be times where I'll kind of pause and if you have any questions about anything um, or depending on the... I can use um, share Destiny and Rusty with you all because these are two very special uh, four-legged friends that we have here at Triple. You may have ridden them both, um, so we're glad to have you back. And if you're new, we're w welcome and we're super excited. Um, we are in a little bit of a different space today than we normally are. We're usually at the barn, but we wanted to make sure you guys had good uh, internet coverage. So we've actually moved up to under the teen scene pavilion today for something a little bit different. As you can see, it's a great multi-use space. Um, so what we're going to start off with today is like talking a little bit about horse care and what goes into looking after your horses. Um, I'm guessing some of you maybe have cats and dogs, maybe a goldfish, rabbit, reptiles. Can I get a show of hands if any of you guys have any of those animals? Yeah? Fantastic. Does anyone have a horse? Yes? No? I'm guessing not. No worries. So we're going to learn a little bit about how we can care for our horses because this also applies to if you have pets at home. As you know, you need to feed them, you've got to look after them, you've got to groom them, walk them. Um, there's lots more involved than um, kind of just having your four-legged friend there. Um, so a little bit about Destiny. Um, she is around 16, 17 years old and she is a quarter horse and her colour is a light bay. So with her colouring, you can see that she has a black mane here. So we're just going to come around here. 
She has a black mane with a black tail. And then her coat is like a kind of a light chocolatey brownie kind of color. Um, and with her legs here, she has some kind of black markings. They're kind of like stockings. Um, there's different names to them, but you can see here her markings kind of go up to here. Um, so this is kind of like a extra long socks. So kind of like you wear socks, she just has already built in um, hairy socks. So that's on all her legs. Um, and then on the front here, you can see she has a little star, a white star at the top, and then a nice long stripe down to her nose, okay? Does anyone have any questions about her colorings or markings at all? No? Cool. And then over here, we also have Rusty, who he's an Appaloosa. So he's got some really interesting markings as well. So he's kind of got some like speckles through him. He's got some like browns, some whites. So he's got all different colors through him, which makes him a really unique color horse. He also has a beautiful bright blaze down the front of his face here, which makes it really striking and uh, good to look at as well. All righty. So we're gonna head back over to Destiny now. Um, so in the mornings, normally when I come up, I um, give them a feed, check all their water. Um, I clean out their store. So I'm gonna check the fat through the body to the back end on both sides, because I wanna make sure that And usually when I do that, I also give them a brush. Um, do lots more. So we're actually going to do that together now um, and kind of go through the steps of cleaning Destiny and making sure she looks good um, before we kind of let her mosey around in the paddock for the day and just munch on grass and fill her belly. Sound good? Fantastic. So we're going to come back over here. Do we have a question? No? Okay, cool. So when I'm moving around the horses, you'll often see I'll put my hand on their rump. So this part of the horse is called the rump. Okay, so I always like to put my hand on there so she knows us, but it's always good to just let her know that you are going around her um, so that we don't startle her. So I'm going to put my hand on her rump and then I'm going to go nice and wide. Like I have my grooming box. And there's a couple of different brushes we're gonna to use today. The first one we're gonna start with is actually a curry comb. Has anyone ever used a curry comb before? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Some of us have. So one of my favorite brushes, the reason for this is, is this is a really good brush at this time of year, because um, at the moment the horses are starting to shed their hair, their hair. So their winter coat's starting to come out and their summer coat's starting to come through. So you'll notice as we brush Destiny today, she's gonna to have a little bit of hair that falls out. That's perfectly normal. It's kind of like your dogs or your rabbits, things like that when they start to shed hair um, throughout the year. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually gonna start at the top of Destiny's neck, okay? And I like to lift her mane up so I can make sure I get all the dirt and things like that underneath her mane. Um, this particular brush is a curry comb and we're gonna use this just on her body, okay? Uh, we generally use a soft brush on their face. Um, so we're just going to use this on her body for the moment. So I'm going to start at the top here and I'm going to work my way down her neck because that's the way her hair falls. And we're just going to give it a really good brush like that. And it's really good getting the dirt off as well, especially because Destiny had a really big roll this morning. So can you see the hair coming out now? Come a little closer. And so you can see that all that winter hair is coming out and then the nice short summer coats coming through. Alrighty. And horses actually really enjoy being brushed. It actually gets the blood moving through their body. Um, it relaxes their muscles. It's just kind of like having a massage. It looks like you have a question. Oh, questions. Go for it. Go ahead. Oh. Why is she not in the barn? That's a great question. So she's not at the barn. They, they sleep at the barn and stay down there normally. But because we're on Zoom today, um, we wanted to make sure that 
we had a really good connection between us and you guys over the internet. So we've just moved them to the Team Scene Pavilion uh, so that you guys can All righty, so we'll keep working our way. So up here, this is called her wither, okay? And later on today, we're actually gonna measure the height of Destiny. So we'll be talking about the withers again shortly. So we're gonna work our way down the back here and then over her rump, like that. You can see all that dirt coming out. And then this area here is called the flank. down her legs just to the tops there and then we want to go underneath her belly so I have a question for you all do we just groom them once or like if we were riding them would we give them a brush or a wash after we've ridden them yes Boom. and why do we do that do you think so that since they're <laughs> Since they're hot and sweaty. They're hot and sweaty. And, and what happens if we let the sweat dry? It would irritate their skin. Exactly. Great answer. And so we do that after we ride, but we also want to make sure that we're grooming them well before we ride because normally we'll have a saddle on um, and a girth which goes underneath the belly here. Okay. And so often horses will get dirt right underneath their belly here. Um, and too comfortable would it probably not so we always want to make sure that we're getting underneath here where they kick the dirt up so that way we can make sure nothing rubs and causes like any sores or anything like that all right then quickly to the other side did you have a question mason which one's your favorite horse what's your favorite that's a good question. I love them both in very different ways. Um, they've been around a while, these horses, since I came to camp. And so both of them probably have a really special place with me. So I, I honestly can't choose because they're both beautiful, sweet, gentle horses. They both have different personalities. Mm. Um, Rusty's definitely got a bit of a quirky personality where sometimes he's super cuddly and just wants to know what's going on. Um, I'm super excited to see you and same with Destiny she's just super chill loves to have cuddles which I love doing giving her a little snuggle um, so yeah I think I love them just as equally do you guys have favorite horses no yeah no. no yeah yeah I like Rose Your favorite horse Rose Rose, yeah, she's beautiful, Rose. Okay, so we've given her a curry comb now, which has got all the, as much of the loose hair out as we can, and we've got a fair bit of the dirt away. What we're actually gonna do now is use a body brush. Okay, so this is a soft brush. The bristles are a lot softer than some of the other brushes, and you can use this over her whole entire body. So we can use it on her face, her neck, her legs, everywhere on the horse. So what I'm actually gonna do first is now start at the top of her face and go around her ears. So here you have her ears. We're just gonna again, brush around her eyes. Get all that dirt out. See that, she's starting to fall asleep. She's getting super relaxed. Another thing that uh, using the body brush does, it also adds a bit more shine to the coat. So it gets all those natural oils on the horse's body. I'm using the brush quite firmly and pushing towards her body. Um, they're still a little stronger than ours, a little tougher, and so you can brush a little harder than say we would on our head. Down there. And then we're going to go back around the other side. Boy, rusty. Back over. Good boy. No. Alrighty, so what do you think's the next 
Anyone want to have a guess? No? All right, so once you have actually brushed your body, and then we're going to pick our feet up. So sometimes I'll spend like half an hour giving her a brush. I'm not gonna go quite as long today because I wanna do a few other activities with you all. So we're just gonna finish the rest of this side for now. Um, Looks like you have another question. Oh, question, yes. How often do you see the horses at Triple Z camp? Great question. I actually get to see them every day. So I will go and check them in the mornings. Um, and then I'll also give them a feed, um, do all their water, and then I'll also check on them throughout the day and then give them another uh, afternoon feed and check them and put them to bed before we all finish for the day. So I'm very lucky. I get to spend every day with the horses. Pretty cool, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. So the next brush we're going to use is actually called a dandy brush, um, or some people will call it a hard brush. And this has got much harder bristles. This is just used for the legs and on the horse's hooves because um, this area isn't quite as sensitive as other parts of the horse's body. Um, Rusty is just being a little fidgety over there. So when we use this brush, again, we're going to go in a downward motion. Um, when I'm brushing the horses and getting lower towards the ground, I always like to stay still on my feet so that if you know, they got a fright or something startled them, that you're able to still get up and step over. Um, that's just going to keep you all nice and safe. So we're going to brush down the legs like this. Like that. Both sides. And then we're going to move to the back end. I have a question. The horse's legs cold. It's like a round, little round kind of ball on the back of their leg. We got any guesses? Any guesses? Okay, so this is called the hock. It's kind of like your elbow. The hock. Down here. I have a question. Go ahead. Um, when are you going to use the hoof picks? That's a great question. We're just about to use the hoof pick now. You ready to pick some things up? You have another question as well. Is it, a boy, you... or, is it a boy or a girl? That's a really good question. Destiny is a girl and Rusty is a boy. So do we know the um, horse terms for a boy horse and a girl horse? So Destiny is a mare. And Rusty is a gelding. So girl horse is a mare, boy, boy horse is a gelding. Alrighty. Do we have another question? Yeah, go ahead. Um, how fast can how fast can Destiny go? Ooh, I would say she can go pretty fast. Um, she can gallop. Um, they all go at different speeds. I haven't tested exactly how fast Destiny goes, but I know she can gallop, she can can, she can do lots of fun things. Um, okay. She could definitely go faster than you could, Mason. Like she can outrun all of us. So she can go pretty fast. Like fast as a car. Pretty cool, isn't it? About 40 miles per hour. Yeah. Well, faster depending on the horse. If thoroughbreds would go faster than say Destiny may. Because um, they're bred and built for racing. All right. So, when we clean their feet up, we always want to make sure we're facing the back. Okay. You're going to run it all the way down to there's a, there's a round. Lean against her and grab the fetlock, and then I'm going to lift it up. Shoes on. Um, she's just barefoot. So, in Oops. 
and that's part of her foot. So we want to try and stay around the frog because um, that area can be a little bit sensitive, um, but we just want to make sure everything is clear around here. So I'm going to start up here near her heel, okay? And the frog looks like a triangle. Yeah, do you remember the name of it? I don't remember the proper name. So it's, um, if it was to be a reptile, it'd go ribbit. <sighs> ribbit, ribbit. Yeah, a frog. No, no, I know a what frog. it's called. Yeah. It's called the frog. That's it, it's the but frog. I didn't, I don't know what the outer rim of it is called. That's okay. So we've got the hoof, okay? Mm -hmm. Then up here, we've got the heel, okay? We've got the frog, and then we've got the wall, which once I clean the rest of her foot out, you'll be able to see a little bit more of it. All right, so now I'm going to pick this side. So my hoof pick has a little hook on the end on one side and a brush on the other. So one side's to pick all the dirt out, and then the brush is to give it a good clean. So we're the just going to... And the brush is usually for the, when you brush over the frog, usually. Yep. So you can go over the frog and around the rest of the foot. So now you can see. Alrighty. So can we all see the foot now? Mm -hmm. The frog? Yep. So we have our triangle here and then the rest of our foot. So the wall of the foot, you can see a heel and that's all clean. So um, the reason we pick their feet out is so that we can check to make sure nothing's stuck in her shoe or in her foot. So right now, as I said, she doesn't have shoes on. If she was to have shoes on, we want to make sure that there's no like sticks or stones that are caught underneath the metal part of the shoe. Um, and then we also want to make sure nothing's stuck in the cracks here of the frog. Um, do you think when we ride the horses, we should also pick their feet out after we ride them? Yes. 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 Because there could be a rock or a stick or something like that on the racetrack. Yes. Can you say that once more for me, buddy? Um, there could be a rock or oh, Okay, cool. And it could pick up on its foot. Exactly. So we want to make sure we get any of those stones out. That's a great response. And so I'm going to move to the back legs now. Okay, so the back legs are a little bit different to the front legs. Um, you got to kind of stretch them out a little more. So same thing again. We're going to run our hand down her leg. We're going to pass that hop, the hop, which is that little round bit on the back of her leg, and all the way down to the fetlock. And then we're going to grab it, and she will sometimes try and stretch it a little. Okay, and that's okay if she moves it. We're going to hold it with both hands, and then we're going to stretch out. Alrighty. Then we do the same thing on this foot as well. With a good brush. So what are some things that you guys have to do with your pets at home? How do you look after them? I feed mine once a day. You feed yours once a day? Is there anything else you do? What kind of pet do you have? I wish for a pet. What was that? I have a dog. You have a dog? We Android, wish you for have a cat. What was that? Say it again. We, we wish for a pet. We wish, we wish for, for a, a pet. pet. Well, you can enjoy Destiny and Rusty virtually anytime. Alrighty, so we've given her a good brush. We've checked all our feet and cleaned them in. Do you have another question? No. Alrighty. So what we're going to do now, actually. Oh, yep, another oh, question. Question, go for it. Um, the dog's in the background. Why are the dogs <laughs> back there? Like, they, they like being around the horses. They're all friends here. They love each other. Um, so horses is a little bit different to maybe how we would measure ourselves or our feet or things like that. So we actually measure our horses in hands. Has anyone ever heard of that before? Measuring your horse in hands? Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe not. 
So I have a special tape measure here with me, which we're going to use today. This is like a special horse tape measure. And one side's going to measure her height and the other side is actually going to measure her weight. So what we're going to do today is first up, we're going to measure the height of her. Um, when you measure in hand, so I'm lucky I have a little measuring tape, but if I didn't have a measuring tape, I would be able to use my hand to get an approximate idea of how tall she is. So when we talk about mm -hmm. hand, it's going to be, your hands are going to be a little bit smaller than mine, but an adult size hand, and it's going to be flat like this or that way. Okay, and we're going to measure, that's the distance that we measure. So it's about four inches for a larger size hand. Okay, yep. does that make sense? Cool. So then when we're measuring, we're going to start from the ground and we're going to work our way up. Where do you think we're going to measure to on Destiny? Do we measure up to her ears, which are here? Um, between her ears, we have her forelock. The top of her ears. The hump. The hump. The top of their ears. The hump. Do you think maybe the top of the ears, would we do the wither or yeah, the wither? The wither. Okay, something with us, something is, something rump. Yeah? Alrighty. So we actually measure to the highest point in the horse. So right now, yes, like Destiny's head's a little higher, but the highest point on the horse is actually the wither. Okay? Mm -hmm. This is usually, sometimes you might see the wither if like the saddle's on because the saddle actually sits over the top here of the wither and part of the horse's back. So today we're going to measure from the highest point, which is our withers, all the way down the side, which kind of comes past, which is actually behind here. And we're going to measure all the way down to the ground. Okay. So I'm going to get my fancy measuring tape out. I'm just going to show you kind of what it looks like up close. So you can see the different numbers on there. Okay. If you have a look, so, for example, we've got nine and eight here. So, they're the hands. If I put my hand in between, do you reckon you could hold the back there? Oh, hang on a sec. Okay, you can see that my hand fits between the two numbers. So, now you can kind of see the size of what a hand looks like. Does that help visually, everybody? Fantastic. All right. So, yes. on the bottom of my tape measure, I have a spot that I can put on the ground and put my foot on. So I'm going to put it next to her. I'm going to get nice and close here. And I'm going to stand on it. So the first hand is right at the edge of my foot. Okay. So I'm still keeping my foot to the side of her so that if she moves, it's not going to be in top of mine. I'm then going to run this all the way up. Okay. Well, and she's moving. It's all right. I'm going to pull it nice and tight and the highest point sits at a roughly 14.3 hands, okay? So she's about 14.3, give or take. So now what I'm gonna challenge you to do is go and find, whether it's an adult or a sibling or a friend, someone in your household, you're gonna go see how tall they are, okay? And you're gonna measure them in hands using your hands. Okay, and then you're going to come back and share with the group how tall that person in your house is. Does that sound good? Mm -hmm. So let's take like the next minute to go measure another person in your house and then come back and we'll, we'll check in and see how tall people are in your house in hands. All righty. They are measuring. Good girl, Destiny. She's not sleeping now. Annie, how many hands are you? Five, five. So we got some get. So we've got some measurements. Uh, all right, Destiny, how many hands do you think everyone else is? Christopher says he's got 20 hands. 20 got... hands. Yeah, 
So we have 20 hands. Kia. Top here is 20 hands. It's pretty cool. What other, what other, what other? Five. Right, five, five. And yes, yeah, so we're measuring so people here. in our house. Good question. There's another one. What was the question, sir? If we're measuring people in our house. Yes. Yep. Any other measurements? So we have round five, five here. Does anyone else want to share their measurements? No. Yeah, go ahead. I'm 13 hands. 13, 13 hands. So 13 hands is here. So it's about here on Destiny. Okay. We've got a 14 hands and another 14. 20. We've got 14 here. 14 hands. So a little bit smaller for Destiny. Another, another 14 hands. And 20 up another here. Another 20. How cool is that? So all different hands. So now you guys know how to measure in the horse measurements, in hands. And how many inches are in your hand? Four. Four. Awesome. Fun fact that... If a horse, it, so we have ponies and horses, okay? So Destiny is actually classified as a pony and Rusty is classified as a horse, okay? So anything, when I say Destiny was 14.2, did I say that? So anything 14.2 down is a pony and anything that's 14 and 14.2 14 and above is a horse. So she kind of sits in that Me? middle range, but more likely on the ponies. You said 14. Okay. We're going to do one last measurement. I thought you said 14.3. Maybe I did say 14.3. So she's, I would say destiny based is probably close to a pony than. Um, okay, one last measurement. Um, Sunny is definitely a pony. On the back of my here, I actually way to get an approximate size of what Destiny's weight is, is we're actually going to put this around her body. Okay? Now, this may not be the exact. All right, how many pounds do you think she's 100 pounds? Raise your hand. Who thinks she's 50? Two hundred pounds. Okay, we'll find out. So destiny now comes in at a, in pounds, approximately nine hundred and sixty pounds. So that's approximately destiny's weight. So today we talked about grooming and caring for our horses. We talked about how to measure our horses in hands, and also how to measure how many pounds destiny is. And that's only a small amount of what we, we could learn about the horses. Um, but does anyone have any more questions before we kind of finish up for today? Do you have any questions, She's like... I have one. That sounds good, doesn't it? All righty, team. Well, thank you. So thank we have questions. I won. I have a question. I have a question. Say it one more time. I have a Go question. Ahead. What what's your question, Mason? Uh darn it, I forgot. Here we see. Okay. Jude has his hand up. <laughs> All right, Jude. Oh, I, 
I How many know. layers of fur does a horse's winter coat have? You know, that's a great question, Jude. I don't know the exact answer to that, but I'm guessing there's how the hair kind of goes over each other. Could be a couple of different layers, but that will find out and let you know. Thank you for us. I remember my question. And let you know. Sound good? I remember my question. What's the question? Is Sunny classified as a pony? again. Do you remember? Yeah. Is Sunny classified as a pony? Would you like me to say Thank again? Thank you so much everyone today for coming and hanging out virtually. Is Sunny classified as a pony? but we can do lots of measuring hopefully in the warmer months um but yeah so time's up guys but we just want to say a massive thank you for joining us today um we hope to have some more horse fun with you all as i said there's so many more cool things we can learn about horses like how to lead them how to tuck them up learn more about their body parts about their teeth so hopefully in the weeks to come we might have some more um fun destiny and rusty time but if you guys do have any more questions about the horses, feel free to email us and we can answer those questions for you. Um, but otherwise, have an amazing afternoon. And the weather seems to be clearing up. So try and get some fresh air. And um, we look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye.